Good morning, friends. Today is Thursday, March 31st. It is the last day of March, and today's video is going to be in the day of the life of a stay-at-home mom. Today, we have some exciting things going on. Riley has her dance pictures tonight. I wanna make some of uh, these cookies that I saw on Pinterest. They're called cakes, cake mix cookies, to where you take a cake mix and make cookies. Self-explanatory, but I really wanna try them out. Riley's saying good morning. Morning. Kellen's over here eating his eggs. Quentin's eating his breakfast. I have my bagel right here with, of course, my morning tea, like always. So I'm just sitting here uh, finishing up some things on a video that just went live on my channel. It was a kitchen clean with me. So, yeah, I'm not sure when this video will be up, but it is then. So yeah, it's gonna be an exciting day. Riley has her first dance pictures, so it should be fun. So I'm just gonna take you guys along our day and hope you all have a fabulous start to your day as well. Okay friends, so it is 9.45 now. Quentin has went to work and Kellen is currently napping. I just finished a load of dishes and tidied up the kitchen just a little bit. I'm watching one of my favorite YouTubers. Her name is Allison. She's such an inspiration to me and my channel but absolutely love her. But now I think I'm going to start putting dinner in the crock pot. I've been doing crock pot meals this week because I have another video coming out. Um, it would have already came out once you guys see this video, but for, for my crock pot video, and tonight I'm making a lemon creamy chicken pasta. So I'm gonna pop that in the crock pot and let that to start cook because we have a busy night because Riley has dance and we can just come home from dance and eat this yummy meal. What's wrong? Oh, Riley wants to say hi. Hi. You look cute today. This is the strawberry one with the waiter. Yeah. It's very springy. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it is yucky out again today. It is cloudy and dreary, just not fun at all. But once I get this crock pot meal going, I think I'm going to make those cookies so then Kellen can have one when he wakes up from his nap. So let's just start getting this all together. Okay guys, so I have Riley, my little sous chef here, and we're gonna make these Easter cake mix cookies, which I'm super excited about. I have my crock pot meal in the crock pot ready to go. I'll show you guys that after I put these in the oven. But first, um, this recipe looks super easy. All you need is one box of cake mix, which is right here, Riley, can you put this in? Sure. Good job. We have to crack the egg. You need one egg. Mommy's gonna crack it because I don't want shells getting in our cookies. There we go. One egg and then one stick of softened butter. Can I and that's it. And then you just mix it all together. So I'm really put in the butter. No, not you can have to mix, okay? Okay. You wanna get all that butter. Just so one. My mommy needs to spoon over. Yeah, we gotta get in that butter. So I'm hoping these turn out good because mommy has had a sweet tooth. Mommy, I wish, I hope my band-aid I hope my boob doesn't look very red when we take off the band-aid. Okay, and okay, now we're just gonna mix all this hey. together. Careful. Oh, you can already see the quick start. Can you just start? Can you just get ready to start for me, please? Uh, this is difficult. Hold on, Riley, hold on. Please listen. This is difficult because it's not like a cake, so it's gonna be a lot thicker. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm being funny. I'm showing them my band-aid. Yeah, and she got a boo-boo the other day, but it's all better now. Yesterday. It wasn't yesterday, I think it was two days ago. No, it was, no, it was, no, it was two days, remember? It was yes, no, it wasn't yesterday. It was the day I was playing with the tape measure when Kellen, when it was out, when you put it up. Mm -hmm. All right, change of plans. I'm getting our hand mixer. The spoon isn't combining as well as I want it to. Can I have some dough? Here, can you put yeah. that one in the big hole? Pop it in, pop, pop. Then put that one in the smaller one. Pop. There we go. Can I try? I 
as you guys can see, I can't pop it in all the way. Can we try it out? Pop. Ah, there we go. As you guys can see, I like the color pink. <laughs> we don't want stuff flying everywhere. Okay. Okay. Okay guys, so that actually worked really well. Definitely use a hand mixer if you try this, but the dough looks perfect. And now I'm just going to take my little cookie scoop and scoop little balls onto my cookie sheet and pop them in a preheated oven at 350 and let them bake for seven to 10 minutes. So very excited about this part. I wanna try. Here, you have a little taste. Is it good? good. Tastes like cookies? Mm -hmm. Looks like cookie dough. Okay guys, so the first batch of cookies is in the oven and we have this much dough left over and it tastes delicious. I've been snacking on it and so is Riley. But I wanted to show you guys the crock pot meal. And you guys will have to watch the crock pot video also, but this is a creamy lemon chicken pasta. I just started it and it's cooking on high for four hours. So I'm just gonna let that cook, watch the cookies and I'll show you guys once the cookies come out of the oven. Okay guys, so the first batch is out of the oven and they look and smell absolutely delicious. I, it makes sense, but I would have never thought to make cookies out of cake mix before, but like it makes sense because it's all the same ingredients like flour and whatnot. So very excited to try these once they cool off a little bit. And we have the other ones in the oven just baking. So yeah, very excited to try these. Yes, Riley likes to eat the cookie dough. The cookie dough tastes great and one thing, a um, fun fact about me. Now cake dough. It's called cake dough. Okay, well a fun fact about me, I actually prefer like cookie dough, cake batter, brownie batter over the actual cooked thing. I don't know, I've always been like that and like I just have so many like childhood memories of being in Key West or in CP at our beach house and just sitting on the counters with my aunts eating um, cookie dough out of the like big Pillsbury chocolate chip cookie dough bucket. I don't know, just so many like memories of just like sitting around eating cookie dough out of the bucket. So fun fact about me, I really love cookie dough and all that stuff rather than the cooked product. I love anything sweet. I have a major sweet tooth, but I would prefer to eat the cookie dough over the actual cookie, but. Yeah, fun fact about me, I'm very excited to try these out though, so I'll keep you guys posted. Okay friends, so it is now 11.20 and Kellen just woke up from his morning nap and he approves of these cookies. These cookies are so good guys. They are the perfect little spring Easter treat. Super easy, super delicious, yeah. So good, but yeah, highly recommend these. They are so fun and so yummy and so easy and um, pretty inexpensive to make. Okay friends, so it is now almost two o'clock and the chicken and everything is done cooking. So I just shredded it up with uh, my blender. Fun tip for you to like shred your chicken perfectly. Use a hand mixer and it shreds it absolutely perfect and it's a lot faster. Um, I've already taste tested this and it tastes so, so good. And how um, later tonight when we get home from dance pictures, all we have to do is boil some pasta and then mix it all together. So once we do that, I will show you guys the finished product. But so far, so good. Okay friends, so it is 4.30 and Riley is napping right now. She asked to take a nap, which kind of worries me because 
whenever she asks to nap, it always means that she's not feeling good. So I really hope she's not coming down with anything, but she's currently sleeping in her bed. She's been sleeping probably for like over an hour at this point, but I've just been down here hanging out with Kellen and we've been playing with all his toys and trucks. So it's been nice having just some one-on-one -on -one time with my boy, but I have to get Riley up here soon because Quentin's on his way home and we have to be at her studio at uh, 520. So gotta start getting her up and ready to go so I'm gonna go do that now hi baby we can make one what I can make one. I can. we can make we can make something <laughs> it can be a belt and we can make it into a thing and then it can be a design oh were you dreaming no oh why well, it's time to wake up you gotta get ready for dance okay why did you say so you did, you've been sleeping for over in an hour. I don't think so. Okay friends, we are back from Riley's dance pictures. She did so great and so cute. I'll insert like a picture of them taking her picture right here, it was so cute. And they said we should be getting like the digital copies within like 14 days of today. So on the 15th of April, because tomorrow's April 1st. And we are home now, we just got home. The kids are watching a movie on the couch and on our way home we stopped at Taco Bell because it was there and it was an impulse and I got a Crunchwrap Supreme with no cheese and Quentin got just a normal Crunchwrap and Riley got a cheesy roll up. And Quentin is now eating those cookies we made today and are they good? He approves, they are very good. So we're just gonna sit here and finish eating our Taco Bell and just enjoy the night and I'll update, update you guys on anything else that happens. Okay friends, so we um, put Kellen to bed about 30 minutes ago. It is now 8.08 .08 and Riley's sitting here next to me. She's not feeling good. She's starting to get a little cold. She's all sniffly and stuffy. But uh, Quentin just went out for his run because he has his marathon on Sunday, which is crazy. It's come up so fast. So he's out running and I am starting a new hobby. Um, I've been on pinterest just looking at so many different embroidery stuff and i really want to learn how so i bought this little thing on amazon and it like teaches you how to embroider okay please don't touch baby i don't want these strings getting all knotted okay but yeah i got this little starter embroidery thing and i'm just learning the basic stitches so i'm just starting this new little hobby and yeah, we're going to end the night. I have my candle lit. It's nice and cozy. Hanging out with my girl and watching Gilmore Girls. And so I'm going to end this video here. <laughs> so I'm going to end this vlog here. And we're just going to relax for the rest of the night. I hope mm -hmm. you guys enjoyed. And I love spending the day with you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you. Bye.